Check the news. It doesn't matter what channel. I know it's brave of me to copy the same title as video game Donkey eight years later, but I'm a brave boy, okay? And it makes a very good title. And I know it's really brave to hate big companies because surely no big companies ever make people mad and people never tend to get mad back. We loved when Nintendo copyright striked everyone. And we loved when Sony recently made the best game of the year get review bombed for stupid decisions. But to say that Microsoft sucks today is interesting because since that Donkey video eight years ago, a lot has changed for Microsoft. So what happened? 4K, 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 
rather than only trying to do the one way and massively failing since your only games to enter Xbox are Halo Infinite and Starfield. And look, Microsoft could afford to lose money and be the good guy. They are the largest company ever, worth $3 trillion. So Microsoft recently not being the good guy is surprising and also makes no sense with how they do business. After acquiring Bethesda and ZeniMax, Microsoft has now closed four branches of studios in order to put scale toward first party titles. Arcane Austin, Alpha Dog Games, Roundhouse Studios that is now being absorbed by ZeniMax, and Tango Games are gone. The odd thing though is that Tango Games was the studio behind The Evil Within, The Evil Within 2, and the recent Hi-Fi Rush, which was a hit for the studio. Hi-Fi Rush was both critically acclaimed and sold well, but despite being enjoyed and likable, the studio has now been closed. If a game did good and people liked it, you usually get a sequel. Tango got a death sentence, even after being convinced that Phil was proud of them. I love Hi-Fi Rush. I love the way it looks. I love the music. The gameplay is really fun and unique. And I think the look is just striking. Liar! So by cutting Tango Gameworks, you now open the floodgates of hypocrisy to Microsoft, while also exposing the flaws of how they conduct game development. To even cut down a studio like Arcane Austin after the fail of Redfall makes no sense. Yeah, Redfall sucked ass, but they didn't even want to make that game. They were forced to by ZeniMax. These guys made Prey 2017. They're capable of making good games. How many times have game developers made games that sucked ass, but then they did something good after? It happens. Games flop. But now we're killing a studio for something they were forced to make that sucked? That makes no sense. Look, Rocksteady made a terrible Suicide Squad game, but they also made the Arkham games, so we don't just shoot them in the head because they were forced to make something they didn't want to make. No, because that's stupid and not how investments work. But then look at the other assholes and what they're doing, right? 343 is chilling right now after bombing a game six years after they already bombed a game. And Bethesda gets to just chill back during drinking margaritas after making a bad game while hoarding all their IPs. But you cut down Tango for succeeding, and you kill Arcane for being stuck in a situation they had no control over. Which reveals the truth of Microsoft. They don't give a shit about video games, or their reputations, or trying to be the nice guy. Like how many thought with this Game Pass shit and fucking Phil Spencer singing Kumbaya. Turns out that the big business is still a business that likes money. With the Halo IP, you still have the potential to make money with the next game. With Bethesda, you can make money off of Fallout and Elder Scrolls over the span of 12 years for two games. And with Activision, you have the reliable call of duty every year. But if you now have pressure to make money back from your investments, why pay 68 billion for a studio on top of that 7.5 billion to make back profit with that Game Pass model, while at the same time having the intention to soon leave the console market in itself to just become a service? Why take in companies and LARP that you want to have creative freedom? If you're still going to be a blood-sucking vampire, Phil, do they like look at Helldivers and get the wrong message? Yeah, it's a good live service game that made Sony a lot of money, but that was also because it's a good game. Sony sucks, okay? Like, I'm not going to excuse them. At least they didn't kill Arrowhead Studios after their first game in 2015. They stuck around and played the long game and it paid off because that's how investments and relationships work. What's the point of making a video game now under Microsoft? If you make an indie game or passion project in the vein of art and it's enjoyed, are you now at risk of getting shot in the head as well? Like, can you now lose your job for doing the right thing? Because by even making a game from Microsoft, you're playing a rigged game. With this Game Pass model, I can now play Hi-Fi Rush since I was never going to give it a chance before. And because I use your system as intended, I now hurt your developer since I didn't buy it outright which puts them at risk of termination from you, Microsoft. Like at this point, how much longer does Obsidian have as a company before you lay them off as well? Machine Games is shaking right now, okay? Indiana Jones is at an all-time low in interest after its movie bombed, and now your fucking job is on the line. And even if the game does good, your job's not secure either because, you know, bye-bye, Tango. I have a better solution to make money, Phil, than closing all these studios that you took the responsibility of when you bought them. Make good games. You wouldn't have to punish people who make games if you made high-budget good games that kept you afloat. Give your IPs to people who care about making good games. Halo would be making you money, Gears of War could be making you money, Bethesda could now be making you money. And for games that aren't first party, don't punish them either for making good games. Just stack up reputation. I don't personally like Game Pass, I prefer to own my games, and yeah, I'm gonna buy Indiana Jones. But for people who don't, if the game's good, don't shut down machine games because people use Game Pass as intended over buying a copy. Microsoft is past the point of making money. You guys fucked up so bad that now is not the time. You gotta build reputation. And recently, the big cows you purchased have been making dog shit. Right now, Sony struggles and they don't got many games. As much as it's a meme though, they don't have no games. You at least got a good God of War game. Spider-Man 2 is there. Ghost of Tsushima. Last of Us 2 if that's your cup of tea. Phil, you have fucking Forza and Flight Simulator, which is crazy because I still rather play those two over Starfield. Microsoft is in a deep hole. But punishing the little guy isn't gonna fix that. But we all knew that. Microsoft's recent good guy shit was always a front. They had no choice but to try and play this or for the gamers rule because they can't compete with others. And now that they feel like they maybe can, they're back to being good old Microsoft. Microsoft still sucks. They will always suck. Don't get comfortable with companies. They don't love you. They just want your money. Subscribe and like the video if you love Forza. Thank you to all the Patreon members. More videos soon. Goodbye, everyone.